Welcome to Julia Lives. Today I wanted to take you on a great idea for a day trip to Michigan. This is Tea with Alpacas at the Via Verde Farm located in Byron Center, Michigan. Byron Center is just south of Grand Rapids, maybe 10-15 minutes, and you can book a wonderful tea time for four people and spend time an hour actually with all these great alpacas. So this is where we chose to have our tea party, but I'll show you first the area when you come in. This is the farm that is well over a hundred years old. It's absolutely beautiful. You can have your tea in a tea room. This is one of the settings and everything here is just so well appointed. There's just so much attention to detail. We chose to have ours in the field, but you don't have to. This is a sink that is available when you first come in so you can wash your hands. And of course it does have running water, but it's just so cool and rustic. You can also have your tea set up under this great big willow tree that you'll see right here. Again, we chose to have ours on the field, but you'll pass through this willow tree and it's just beautiful. Everything served was baked from scratch. You'll see scones and that delicious cake. There's apple butter there. And then those are little mints. And these and cucumber sandwiches, fresh fruit with fresh whipped cream. And these recipes have been handed down for generations. There is nothing like this. It was incredible. These two were so delicious. I've never had those saltines with the frosting, but they were so good. And just the way that the tea party was set up and arranged was just beautiful. I was really happy that we chose to have our tea party in the field. Now, I did ask the owner, who was amazing by the way, she was the nicest, friendliest person, about some of the other excursions I've seen where you can walk an alpaca. And she said she has had them lead trained. And I asked, but do they like to be walked? And she honestly said, not really. So I was really happy with how this was set up where the alpacas were just free to roam. This girl was like a Velcro alpaca. She never left our side. Some of the others were a bit skittish, but when we got up and moved, she went with us every single time. She kind of stayed back from the pack. So when we first started the tea party, the uh, owner of the farm fed the alpacas and sheep. You might notice there's sheep there, grain in that area. So that's why they're all congregating there. But in just a few minutes here, you'll see where she gives us control of the grain. And that's when they really start to bond. It was hilarious once we had the grain and they were really attracted to us. The tea party lasted for an hour, but there's also a movie theater that's only five miles away. So if you wanted to take in the Barbie movie or another movie, it's right up the street. It's really easy to get to. And then at the end of the video here, I'm gonna show you there's also a Tanger outlet that's 10 minutes away. So if you lived a few hours away, it'd be very easy to get a hotel room, do the tea party, do a movie, then go shopping at Tanger. That would be a great day trip or even overnight trip if you were interested in visiting this area.
So just lay your hand flat and then you can just feed them like that. So you're tall, so I'm going to give you this. Oh, because you can keep it up above your head. Because <laughs> they kind of like jump on me and knock me over if I. Oh. Helping us find. If you wouldn't mind just giving the video a like, that helps people to see these videos, especially too for people who are trying to plan short little day trips and just fun excursions. This would be a great one to get into the algorithm so that people know that it's available. Yeah, you're gonna wanna do this. It's just too much fun. Now, in just a minute here, I'm gonna show you this shop that she has where she sells yarn and hats and things that she's knitted from the alpaca fur. And she gets somebody from Minnesota to come in and shear the alpacas. She'll also notice too on the tags of some of the products, it shows which alpaca the yarn came from. And just about a 10 minute drive east, you'll find the Tanger Outlets in Byron Center. They are called Tanger Outlets Grand Rapids, but this is definitely Byron Center. It's right off of US 131. This outlet mall was opened in 2015 and it is pristine. You'll notice all the landscaping and there's never trash. It's beautifully maintained. They've added so many stores and also this kids playground area. There is plenty of parking, but this is right when it was opening. If you come here on a weekend, especially in August before back to school season, the parking lot will be jam packed. Now there's not a lot of dining here. There are, you know, there's the pretzel shop that you saw. There's a Culver's right next door. And then there's also a Starbucks too in the parking lot adjacent to the mall. But there's not like any kind of sit down restaurant here or food court. So you may want to plan that out as well. But again, there's great shopping here if you wanted to take in a little bit of shopping after your tea time. Thanks to everybody too who has subscribed to Julia Lives. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you join me so you can see what adventures await. Or if you have any recommendations, I would certainly take those into consideration of places to visit and vlog.